This is the Cack Shack, a 2x1 with an open core, 360 degree peak downs, two disconnectable Shell TCs, and a nice early game starter, as well as these new revolutionary shot front peaks. Beginning a tour from the base, from the disconnectable TCs, you can see the compound turrets that check your furnaces, as well as the wide amount of wide gaps that completely engulf the base. Entering, you can see these uh, shot front peaks in use, as well as a drop box and the uh, shot front peaks being actually the jump up to your core. There's also a ladder hatch um, on the left side of the base, so that'll get you up and up the peaks quickly. This is a uh, reflection on the other side of the base as well. And the 2x1 core, you have two drop boxes up, four drop, four drop boxes at the top, as well as your um, starter unit containing eight boxes. Here's your first set of bedrooms, being the peak downs, so along with four lockers and the uh, ladder hatch mentioned earlier. Moving to the open core with um, vending machines to flesh your loot and 42 boxes. You also have four turrets holding the open core along with your roof um, ramp peak downs. Above the open core is your shooting floor beds, which are your primary beds. These also have four lockers within the um, ramp peak down area. Here you can see the uh, 360 degree wide gap peak floor peak dance in use, um, offering you basically an angle on any part of the compound. The roof offers similar angles with it being completely engulfed in triangle and square roofs, as well as turrets that can cover the whole thing. You also have to place two more turrets in the um, other two corners, which would offer even better turret angles for the roof. So, to begin the starter, we will place our 2 bone footprint in surrounding triangles. I then surround this with walls and uh, add a jump up on one side and a TC on the other. Next we'll expand up to the second floor, adding uh, two entrance points on each side and another jumper opposite the first. We we'll also want to add two twig jumps on the outside, but just make sure to keep those twigs for now. Here you can see what the base should look like at this point and where the jump ups could be. To start expanding your base, you want to put down more TCs so you don't get TC grieved. Uh, this is done by its wide gaps that are turned into gatehouses later on. TCs are also disconnectable, meaning if you get raided, you can replace your main TC if it's removed. Having this half wall here is important, as the base is um, a half wall higher due to the open core, and this half uh, floor offsets the shooting floor so you can see a bit further. You 
you'll want this repeated on both sides. This is one element of the shell that can be left out, and these are these are the uh, shot front peaks. Personally, I find these peaks really useful, as they act as a shooting floor entirely, nearly, um, early game. Though, they do become a limit later, as they're six rockets, meaning if you upgrade a sheet, they can just rocket through there. This can be rectified by honeycombing it, just with one triangle, but uh, it is optional. As you can see, they do give really nice angles. I don't personally expand up here as uh, you won't want a one triangle jump up for the open core. You want it to be three triangles. Here most people tend to use siren lights, but I find the barricades just give you more security um, in a raid. Especially if they do blow out the walls into your peak downs. As the peak downs are connected to the main base, they won't have fallen yet. So you can use those barricades as cover and continue holding.
this floor and peak downs will become your uh, first bedroom and it's extremely useful for fending off early game raids. So if you can get this up in a few hours of wipe, um, you won't have to fear any groups coming over and chugging 2c4 early. At this point I classify the base being uh, fairly defendable with its inner peak downs and multi TCs to avoid griefing in a raid. Now with one of the corners of the base you want to go out with uh, three squares and one triangle to form another wide gap. This wide gap well will not be linked up to a multi TC but actually uh, the base itself. It is important you do have a half wall in the middle uh, with a uh, door frame on top of it as you won't be able to place the floor frames without the door frame already there. You want this repeated on each corner of the base, essentially surrounding it in wide gaps. This combination of HPF sensors and uh, later bar metal barricades uh, won't necessarily make your compound invincible, but will fend off the uh, early game combat hoppers until you have turrets down. I find an easy form factor for placing down your compound is to uh, go two walls essentially straight out, two walls curving inwards a little bit. Repeat that other side and then put two walls in the middle to finish it off, meaning each side of the compound is 10 walls for a total of 20 walls for your entire compound. Having your barricades overhang a little bit like this just means uh, compound hoppers won't be able to ladder up your externals as easily.
you can place these uh, external TCs down earlier, though they won't stop, if you do get TC grief, it won't stop you building a base, just compound hops. Starting the open core, um, you'll probably only want to build this in its entirety when you have multiple materials, so when your base is defendable with the peak downs, you'll probably want to save up before you expand. These are four frames of paste for stability um, over the ramp peak downs and image heat metal so that uh, lockers can later be placed as stone won't allow you to place them. Again, for the uh, um, ramp peak downs, having them sheet isn't necessarily a strength factor, but the um, uh, sheet metal ramps give you uh, better angles than stone does. Here you can see how I like to um, furnish my open core with these box lit rooms. I think it's 42 boxes total. I always like to play vending machines here, which I'll flex my loot later for a raid. Here you can see to place in these triangle shells, I do actually have to place triangle through the wall, uh, and then these just later be shut out, so it'll just be twig.
Rather than just placing four boxes across, I do place one in the middle facing inwards because it will allow us to put down turrets later. Little angle bio turrets. With the open core complete, the shooting floor level ready, you'll want to um, go up with your wide gaps. Um, later I'll just use flying to make it faster, but I will also show you how I use um, spiral stairs just to do it easier in actual game. Not that it was intended, but uh, the half floor um, offset, the wide gaps, do make it easier to do in game. You'll um, want this process repeated on both sides as seen here. Sealing in your um, uh, roof, you'll want the actual floors placed off the wide gaps as when you place your actual slant of in later, it will mean there's no angles in the shooting floor from the top of the white gaps. Again, just to make it easier, the base requires a total of 26 embrace to be crafted, usually easier splitting this between your teammates. Uh, here is where I'll end up setting the second and primary set of bedrooms. Um, lockers will go in each of the ramp peak downs and the four beds will just sit here.
Um, here just uh, some guidelines on where electric stuff can go, such as the wind turbines, batteries, and turrets. Uh, don't take this as far as biblical, but just makes it easy. You can see the uh, aforementioned uh, ankle bio turrets, which do help a lot in terms of raiders breaching and not realizing they're there. Uh, in terms of priorities for turrets, I'd say get one on roof first, that's where your first shot turret should go. Then probably get uh, two in open core, then two in compound. And after that, I'd probably just go top down, finishing the roof, finishing the open core, and everything else. So this is the completed base on one stone. Obviously you wouldn't want to keep it that way, uh, as you can see here. Uh, this is what the base would look like um, when it's all upgraded. Um, one ring of high qual around the open core, the, the full wall, not the half wall, costs 350 high qual, and I sometimes uh, will place that in immediately. Here's just a sort of preview of where you'd actually want upgraded. The roof sheet metal, uh, the roof above the open core is high qual, uh, the walls basically surrounding the whole base uh, on the outside of sheet metal. Uh, you can see the whole two, the first two stories of the 2x1 are also high qual. As you know, this is your TC and batteries, which aren't necessarily too important. Uh, the TC, I mean, because it's uh, got externals. But do you want your batteries to be as safe as they can be? Having the uh, bottom of these wide gaps sheared is pretty important, as otherwise raiders may just choose to rock those out straight away, um, basically fucking you up from the shooting floor. Uh, if you can actually, I would 
probably spare the metal to upgrade all your wire gaps to sheet because upgrading them late is kind of a bitch. The final upgrade would be upgrading these two bits of the uh, LTCs to sheet, meaning they wouldn't be soft sided, and putting a garage door in here. You can also uh, upgrade the entire XLTC to sheet and swap out the single door for an armored door, just meaning it'd be a, a seven rocket external.